Hey everybody, Akadamite Ninja here. I hope you're doing good. It's the end of the day, so sorry the lighting's a little off. I know some people get freaked out about that. Who cares? You're not here for lighting, you're not here for good looks. You are here for information, and that's what I'm gonna give it to you. And uh, if you could tell by the, the title of this video, which I don't even know what I'm gonna entitle it yet, but I'm just fired up. Um, it's about getting your money out of the system. And I think it's so important, and yes, I've got my cardboard notes. I am going to link a special podcast because why I'm doing this video, why I'm so pissed off, why I'm so fired up, I can't call out specific uh, entities. I'm going to do it in that podcast because we're using that podcast as like just a let's go crazy, honestly. Um, so take a look at the link in the comment section or the description below to the podcast. And please, for both the podcast and this channel, if you've been look, watching it and you like the information, you keep coming back to it, please consider subscribing. And I know everyone's hitting the thumbs up button and I can't be more appreciative, but the reason why is you've heard it probably a million times, but it's so true. Information's being suppressed and you guys, by hitting those thumbs up, hitting subscribe, it pushes the algorithm out and it goes, well, we can't fight it. This is, I guess, what people wanna hear. And that's truth, transparency, honesty, and like how to literally make a killing during this next crash, which a lot of things we can't change. But one thing we can change is being prepared. And that's why I love when people hashtag Ninja Nation in the comment section, because this is a way of thinking that I'm going to show you as, as you get to know me. And trust me, I am not perfect. And none of this stuff is rehearsed. And none of this stuff is edited, right? This is just me being the investor that I've been for the last 20 years, sharing information with you guys. So without further ado, let's start the notes. All right because we're super fancy here at the Economic Ninja channel. And yes, I get it. It's all backwards. It's because my phone's turned backwards. So before you start going to the, th the comment section, that's why. All right, get your money out of the banks. Now you've heard this from lots of people and it's honestly, it is honestly clickbait because it's like, well, why do I gotta get the money out of the banks? Well, it's not just clickbait, especially on my channel. It's, it's truth. And I talk about it being different, getting your money out of the system. You see, the system that I talk about is fiat currencies worldwide. It is based on debt, all right? And they are controlling us like puppet masters with debt and feeding into human greed and insecurity, right? You are never gonna get wealthy doing it that way unless there is a special way to use debt very special and we're gonna we I go into that in other videos on the channel um, how to use debt very carefully to build lots of wealth all right but it's not the kind of debt we're talking about today we're talking about credit card debt we're talking about these little loans especially car loans yeah I get it cars are expensive and I don't want to digress too far from the topic but I just want to give you a quick overview so I talk about getting your money out of the banks and I talk about getting out of the system at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we are faced with some big changes coming on right now. We're gonna talk about that um, soon, the $600 change in annual transactions and all these 1099s that are about to start going out on January 1st. But we have to vote with our dollars. And right now, I've been, in the last 10 years, researching and following banks having less and less cash in their system, right? I hear about it all the time. And I used to deal in a very cash, cash heavy business when me and one of my best friends uh, sold trailers, flipped trailers, tractor parts, all that kind of stuff. And we were dealing with lots of cash all the time, going from our bank account, you know, to, to you know, from selling trailers and cash to these banks. And what we found is that banks were year after year having less and less cash. And we're all experiencing that now. Why? Because they've got us, wean, they're weaning us off and they're going to go to a digital currency pretty soon. But the, more and more, they're getting us entrenched in debt. That's why this inflation narrative is actually a good thing for bankers. They like that because the more it costs you, the more debt you have to get into. So I think it is very, very wild. One of you awesome subscribers is literally calling me right now. You must already know that I'm making a video. <laughs> Half the screen's all blocked out. That's how professional we are at the Economic Ninja channel. Please like and subscribe. All right, so when I talk about getting out of the system, I refer to getting, and remember guys, there's that link to the, um, the podcast below. Okay, so check that out because I'm gonna get very specific with this one banking institution that really pissed me off today and what they said in their facts and what you need to know, it says in these fine prints what they're doing to you. Getting out of the system is voting with your dollars, whether it be gold and silver, which I believe is God's money, or Bitcoin and solid cryptocurrency projects that are the people's money, right? Decentralized blockchains, truth machines, all right? And if you don't know about it, just take your time, but be careful, don't dive in all the way. You shouldn't do that with anything. That is financial advice. You should diversify and never invest anything more than you're willing to lose. 
I sound like a commercial. But my point being is that that is insane. I've done that and lost my butt. Don't be like me, all right? Learn from my mistakes. I don't need to sit there and brag about all the good things. I just want to tell you all the bad things that happened to me. So I don't want you to go through the same crap I did. So you can tell by my tone, I'm pretty pissed off. Um, tracking of $600 or more. January 1st, a big change is coming. Um, or they've been trying, let's put it this way. Uh, a lot of people might comment, so before you start running your thumbs crazy on the comment section, just know this. This hasn't been set in stone yet, the $600. But in these all these infrastructure packages, they've been slowly trying to work it in and it's being phased out. But trust me, it's going to get pushed through eventually. And that is that the government wants, the IRS specifically, wants any bank account with transactional, annual transactions uh, equaling $600 or more to be have a report a SARS report a suspicious activities report essentially uh, but it's different it's it's going to be able to be tracked and sent to the IRS they want to be able to see your stuff now now this has to do with um, what's coming in this next video okay and what the information they want to see and what they want to do with that information it's really ticking me off but I want you to understand that regardless if this gets passed now or in the future it's going to get passed I want to tell you the choke collar is getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and the only way you can loosen it is to break free of their fiat system. Now, I'm going to give a couple of suggestions of what you can do. First off, we've talked about gold, silver, God's money. We've talked about uh, cryptocurrencies, right? Getting completely out of fiat. Here's another thing. Stop getting into debt. Stop getting into debt of things you don't need. If you can't pay cash for it, you don't deserve it, is what my grandfather always said. And I believe that today. Now, some things I know the first thing that's coming up in your mind, what about real estate? We'll get to that in a second. Cars, I get it, they're expensive. Wait, save up, fix what you have now. Do not get into debt. I just bought a truck, a car. I don't wanna go into what it is. But it, was a, it was a significant purchase and the gentleman that sold it to me, his payments were more than my first mortgage. And it blew me away. I couldn't even believe that. And he's like so stoked to get out of it. And I go, well, what are you going to do with it next? Or, you know, with the money that you got? Because all I did was literally walk into the bank and pay off his note. That's all I did. He didn't get a dime. And he had a lot of upgrades into this vehicle. And he said, well, I'm going to go buy the new one. But I'm going to wait a few months and build up some money. Because, of course, you got to build up the money for the down payment. And that is slavery. Save up for what you can buy and, and pay cash. I'm telling you, you'll be your life will be so much better for it. But all the small transactions, don't listen to the crap on the internet, the internet and the news, and that you need to wear this special thing or or this have this stupid handbag that costs more than my first car because it has some sweet logo on it. It's crap. I mean, I'm not even joking. This isn't the time. This is the time for humanity to step away from the puppet masters. Honestly, guys, if you see value, share this video. I think it's so valuable. Share the video with anyone and everyone you can because people need to hear this right now. So many people you've been warning and they've been rolling their eyes at you. The only reason you're on here is some catch, catch word because your this message resonates with you, especially if you made it this long. How long have we been doing this? Six minutes, eight minutes? Yeah, eight minutes. I can guarantee you, the people that have made it eight minutes have got a seriously awesome attention span. So seriously, uh, hashtag Ninja Nation in this video and I'll know you made it this far because that's awesome. I'm not joking. People need to hear this message, so please guys, you're the true believers, share this, put it out and, and, and man, plaster this video on Facebook. As much as we don't like it, that's where the people that need to wake up, that's where your family members sit and take photos of their dinner and, you know, but guys, the system is collapsing around us. So, I, I nailed everything on this, this piece of cardboard. Point being is that guys, take a look at the link below to the podcast and please consider, if you haven't subscribed to this channel or the podcast, please consider doing so. And again, thank you for hitting the thumbs up. It helps this message get out. Guys, the system is collapsing, okay? I've been through two collapses before, well-versed in it, and good news, I actually did something to prepare for both of those and was blessed. This one, I'm gonna absolutely crush it in, but I wanna take a million people with me. I wanna make a million people a million bucks and doing it the good, honest, hardworking way, and we're gonna absolutely kill it, guys. I'm not joking. We're gonna crush it. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.